Hey guys, good evening. I was asked to make a video regarding mixing paint for acrylic pores. So that's what I am going to do for you today. I have my cup of Floetrol. I just poured out so I don't have to deal with the big jug. But this is what you have to use. Flood Floetrol. If you can't get this, you can use PVA glue in place of it. Um, basically what Floetrol does is it's a paint conditioner and it helps promote cells within the painting. So when you go to mix your colors, there are a couple of things that determine how much to use of what. So to me in this field, there are five different types of paint or acrylic that you can use. There is high flow acrylics. There is things like apple barrel paint, um, deco art, the craft paints in the bottles. There is fluid paints. There are inks. And then there are heavy body paints, which I don't use because they're way too hard to mix. Um, the other ones, there's like, you know, the big bottles of Flow Acrylic by uh, Artist Loft. This is basically the same as this. This is a flow acrylic, right? No, that's a fluid. I'm sorry. This is a high flow. This is a regular flow. So basically all that means is there are different consistencies. The thicknesses are different. This is very liquidy. This is a little thicker. So with that being said, when you go to mix paints for acrylic pores, you cannot use the same amount of paint depending on what type of fluidity your paint is. So we're going to start off with the basic that mostly everybody uses, which is a craft paint in the bottle. It doesn't matter if it's Apple Barrel, if it's Deco Art. Uh... There's another one, I think it's Craft Smart, Anita's. Those are your basic paints that a lot of people use when doing acrylic pour. So, what I do is, however much paint I think I'm going to need for my pour, I pour in like say I have, I'm trying to figure out how to word this. All right, I need a little bit of yellow, okay? So however much yellow I pour in here, I'm going to put that much Floetrol in. So right now we got about, you know, a quarter of the cup. So I will then pour in about that much Floetrol. It's a 50-50 mix. Doesn't have to be exact. Just close. Now that only pertains to the craft paints. So then what you want to do after you pour it in the cup is mix it. Sorry for my dirty hands. I was spray painting something and it got all over me. Okay. So then you want to mix it till it's all incorporated. And basically what you're looking for on this stick is a paint that when you tip it to the side... It flows off in one stream. It doesn't go 
plop, 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 like it is now. Right now, it's too thick. So what I will do is add a little bit of water. Dro literally, that was like four drops of water. Mix that in. And then check it again. Let me make sure you guys are seeing that. See, it's... Maybe still too thick. But see how it's coming off in one stream? And now it's plopping, still a little too thick. Think of a smoothie. Now this, what a smoothie, yeah, probably runny honey. How about that? That's the consistency. that you want. See how it's running now? Basically you want to run, you want to add a couple of drops of water to it until at a time until you get to that consistency. So that's for a craft paint. Now you say what do you do when it comes to something like a high flow acrylic? Those are a whole different monster. You're not going to put 50% of this and 50% acrylic or um, Floetrol. What you're going to do, say you want a half a cup of red. You're going to fill this half the way with the Floetrol. And then you're going to add drops of the high flow color into the cup until you get to the color you want. I would start off with, say 10. Mix it up. Now it's pink, so that's not right. We're gonna add a little bit more, okay? Getting redder, but it's still pink. Don't want pink. Couple more drops. Eh, now it's really pink, so we're getting there. Couple more drops. Almost there. And now we're now we're there. Maybe a little bit more. A lot of people tend to stick with the craft paint because it's just, it mixes in, not better, but the color is like, it just pops through more quicker instead of adding drops of this stuff. Okay. So that's mixed in pretty good. It's still a little pink. 
we're going to stop with that. Whatever color we get, we get. You have to mix it up really good. And now we're going to test it out. It's running off in one stream. And that's all you need with that one. You really don't need to add uh, water. When you use Floetrol and a very fluid type of paint, that's pretty much the consistency you're looking for. Okay? Just like that. Let me show you. Make sure you can see it. Okay. So if you use a paint that is very fluid, you do not need to really use water. When you use the craft paint, you do. Most of the time, I should say, because there have been some craft paints where they just mixed into this uh, full trial and they were fine. You know, the next one I have are not high flow acrylics, but fluid acrylic acrylics. This is the black. Now, with this one, it's kind of like in between the fluid, the high flow, I'm sorry, the high flow, and the craft paint. So, let's say you need a half a cup of black. Fill that up half of the way. I put about 10 drops in. This would be another one that you really don't need to use water. The consistency is just perfect with the paint and the flow trough. Right now it's a gray, so a really dark, it's like three drops away from being perfect. Okay, maybe not three, maybe six. <laughs> but you get the point. You don't have to dump in the whole bottle. That That's my point. You don't have to use the whole bottle. And when you pay for these things, if you get these these uh, golden acrylics, you're not going to want to use the whole bottle. Trust me. They're very expensive. Very expensive. Okay, so here we go again. Perfect. Fluid. Not adding water. And then the last one I have for you is going to be the ink. So, let's just say I need a third of a cup of violet. Fill the cup third of the way with a flow trail and start adding in the ink. Now this takes a little bit more to get the true color of the ink. All right, there you go. Look, all mixed in. Perfect, ready to go. Perfect consistency. If you ever want to know what the perfect consistency is for acrylic pouring paint, pour a half a cup of Floetrol 
and get a bottle of ink like I just used. Then you will be able to feel and know the weight of what the perfect consistency is. Because that is it. That is what you're looking for. So, do yourself a favor. Trust me on this one. Get yourself a bottle of acrylic ink. Doesn't matter which one, what color. Pour some Floetrol in a cup and color it with the ink. Okay? And mix it good and that will tell you It'll give you a feel for how heavy the paint should be once you mix it together. Because, you know, you can sit here and you can watch me mixing these things, and it, but you're still not getting the feel for how heavy this paint is. And when I say heavy, like, you know, the, the thickness of it once you add the flow trial in the water, if you need it. So, just to recap really quick, and then I'm going to come back and use these colors in a pour. Um, I'm sorry, I wanted to do a white. Let me do some white. So, I have, this is a bigger cup, about a third of it left of Floetrol. I'm just going to make a bunch of white because I use a lot of white. Alright, so a third of that, this is a thicker paint. So, I'm going to double that. Okay. I'm going to mix it. So, remember, because this was a thicker type paint, I did a 50-50 ratio. Okay way too thick right now so I'm gonna add some water I'm gonna start with that much maybe two tablespoons worth now I've been doing this a long time so I know kind of how much I'm gonna need right off the bat it may be safer for you to put a couple of drops in at a time All right, a little bit more. I just say another two tablespoons it took. Oh, and if you ever feel like your paint is, you've put too much water in and it's too thin, you can always add a little more flow trial to it to thicken it up. Or even a little more paint. So that's that's good right there. Let me bring it around town and show you. See? Like runny yogurt. There we go. Runny yogurt. That's what you're looking for. Nice and fluffy in the cup. Okay, so to recap. If you use craft paint flow acrylic um, flow acrylic craft paint any type of a thicker body paint you want to do a 50 50 ratio with the flow trawl and the paint add water till you get to a runny yogurt consistency Okay, runny yogurt. And then um, add silicone if you want. When you work with something like a high flow acrylic, an ink, or a fluid paint, specifically the golden brands, you put in as much flow troll as you want and use this to color it. 
I can't give you an exact number of drops. Just keep dropping it in until you get to the color you want. Okay. And like I said, do yourself a favor. If you really want to know what the consistency should be like, get a bottle of Bombay ink and fill the cup with Floetrol. Put some drops of that in there, mix it up, and get a good feel for it so you can remember mentally, like get the feel for it in your hand, okay? Now, what I'm going to do is put some silicone in my cups and do a pour quick. So give me one second to get my canvas. I will show you the pour in the silicone. Just let me set up really quick. Okay, so I'm pouring on an older canvas that I just spray painted over. There's a little texture on there. I'm not worried about it. I'm just doing this for the fun of it. It's not a gallery piece or anything like that. So, silicone. Believe it or not, this is what I use. KY Premium Lubricant. True Feel makes the best best cells ever or you can get this uh, treadmill belt lubricant I like the KY I get just like the best results so anyway a couple of drops in one two three four that's it. Couple of drops. One, two, three, four. Those were fast fours. <laughs> Don't stir it a lot. Okay. Just a couple of times around in the cup to so it's not floating right on the top. And then I'm not going to put any in the black or white. By the way, I have some metallic blue. I'm going to be using some leftover paint. This has been sitting for two weeks, folks. It's got the silicone in there. As long as you keep them covered with something, they will be good to go. All right, so let me grab a cup. We are going to do a flip cup, a flippity flip cup. So I'm going to put a little tiny bit of white. Some of the blue. Some of the yellow. Purple. Probably get mud from that. Pink. A little bit of black. Some more blue. A little more of this. Pink, red, yellow, and a touch of white. I don't like to use a lot of white. Okay, we're going to do a flip cup. Actually, let me see, because I always do this wrong. Okay. Make sure you're in frame. And you are. And here we go. See inside that cup. horrible lighting here. Look at those cells, guys. Look at them cells. 
That is from the KY. KY. Gonna torch it a little bit. And now let's move it around town. hate when I really have to stretch it out because I didn't use enough paint so I'm going to be doing a ribbon on this that one little corner actually you could probably use what's left in the cup over there Purple and yellow never work for me. They always turn to mud. Always. Just thought I'd say that. <laughs> always, always. So let's do a mini cup. have some left here. We're going to go for it. That blue is lumpy. Really sat too long. Also, blue and orange make mud. Alright, let's see here. I need some going through here. This is just playing around, guys. Let's break up this area. Go up in here because this is like really muddy. And this is called pouring ribbons. Didn't like that corner. It'll all work out in the end, guys. Look at this area right here. That's pretty cool. I like that. And this here, too. Oh, yeah. And... I have my can of air over here. Hmm. Shall we try it? 
Whoa, no. <laughs> it's bringing the white up. I don't have much white in there. I think I'm going to leave that can of air. I mean, it would look cool. Look at that. If I had some white coming through and it wasn't splashing everywhere. Yeah, we're not going to do that. But it didn't make it more interesting. So anyway, guys, I want to thank you for tuning in. I hope that answered some of your questions about the mixing of the paint. If you have any questions, leave a comment below. Don't forget to subscribe. And as always, happy pouring. Just trying to zoom you in a little bit. But. She's going to do the old-fashioned way. Different colors for sure. Not my usual palette. This was more about the paint mixing than anything. There's the effects from the uh, can of air. Anyway, have a nice night, guys. Thanks for watching.